Howdy duty fellas, it is your host Super Poopy and I'm just happy to bring you episode 3 of Shenanigans And yes, we took away the desert because the environment may change And we even may use uh, background footage for this But, guess what, a few months ago I got invited to a Muslim event Not Milsim, because you wouldn't want to get invited to a Muslim event And confuse it for Milsim And arrive to a mosque in tactical gear and assault rifle It's not going to be a good day It is way too early for that joke, you can't pull that shit off But don't worry, we got it right, alright? We heard Muslim the first time, and we were extra precautious, alright? You can't do that shit no more, you can't even joke about it, because people are getting arrested for memes and jokes. Can you believe that? Thought police! Jesus Christ! So FBI, if you're listening, that was just a joke, I don't know if you ever heard of one, you know? Because uh, you guys are giving off, like, some fucking communist vibes, you know what I'm saying? But anyways, yeah, um, uh, spoiler alert. Uh, they still don't like homosexuals, <laughs> but, uh, of course, I went there with an open mind, I went there with respect, and, uh, listen, there are some pros, and there are some cons, but, you know, I've shit-talked Christians, I've shit-talked Catholics, and no backlash, but I may get backlash for this one, since there's a lot of pandering and ass-kissing towards Muslims, so, uh, you know, and you know me, no matter what the fuck you are, what color you are, what religion you are, what you believe in, who you vote for, I'm gonna shit on you whether you like it or not, alright, it's gonna happen, but anyways, this is mostly about my uh, personal experience going to a mosque for the first time, so uh, I'm gonna start it from the top, so it all started with a college event, right, we all met in the classroom, all just digging and, you know, doing work and being like, y'all, y'all ready to see some Muslims and shit? Now, of course, um, this college is a very liberal college, so no one's going to have that southern accent. I used to do it. I, I, I do it all the time as a joke. And, uh, you know, uh, I, I just I don't think they like it. You know, um, they're, they're not really a big fan of dark humor. I just couldn't relate to these fucking people. But, you know, that's for another topic. Uh, I am going to make a shenanigans episode about my personal college experience. So let's not get too deep in that. But basically, uh, I met up with this homie. I really vibed with him. And uh, I decided to hit you right with him. And uh, we decided to stop at Target. And we were like, hey, let's get some fucking Jack Daniels. And, like, fucking chug it. And, you know, just get a little loose. You know what I'm saying? We're, we weren't going to get drunk or anything. But then we remember that Muslims do not drink alcohol. So we can't arrive there smelling like fucking Jack Daniels. Uh, saying God knows what. Freaking recovering hangover next day. Wake up in the garden of the fucking mosque. Not a good time, alright? You, you, we gotta be respectful. We gotta get there with open minds, but... Anyways, yeah, we arrived there. We're chilling out. We're checking out the mosque. It's a very lovely building. It's got, like, two fucking pillars and shit. Very nice building. Even the fucking parking lot is nice. And like I said, they have a garden. And uh, they got it well kept, you know what I'm saying? So, you know... And, of course, we arrived there, and there's a lot of freaking white girls there wearing uh, hijabs and I thought that was kind of funny and I was like yep this is top level pandering or some shit I don't know I don't know how the Muslim religion works if you got if you go to a mosque like is it mandatory to wear the hijab I like I don't fucking get it you know uh, you know, I know, I know they're very controlling over women, so, you know, <laughs> hey, I'm just stating facts here, that's, that's how it be over there with the Muslim religion, but, you know, uh, some may be more, more modern and have more respect, but, uh, basically we walk in there, get invited to a side room, they have a bunch of food there, and, like, dude, not to be a dick, but I don't like eating in front of people, I don't like accepting random food i just have major trust issues you know and uh it's it's not that uh you know it's like i don't trust them i don't trust the muslims or anything like that like even in the classroom they would bring pizza every now and then and i would not get one slice because i'm like i don't like opening my mouth in front of people and chewing like like no no don't get me wrong i chew with my mouth closed but at the same time it's like i'm not gonna eat in front of you i don't trust you you know what i'm saying did you fucking poison this shit I gotta be the chef, alright? If I eat in front of you, that means you have a special place in my heart. But anyways, yeah, we get invited to a room. Uh, I just take two water bottles because, you know, I'm like, I can't eat this. And besides, they don't eat pork. Where the fuck's the pork? I love pork. And, you know, they don't, they, Muslims, they, they don't, they don't eat that shit. Apparently, it's against their religion or some shit. And, uh, so we decided to sit there, hang out and stuff, you know, I met up with a friend, uh, 
another friend of mine was uh, trying to hit on this one random broad, and, uh, you know, he kind of kept me third wheeling, and I'm like, okay, okay, asshole. And, uh, well, luckily, I had another homie that arrived out of nowhere, and I'm like, oh, shit, what's up? What's good? And, uh, you know, we really vibe with each other, and uh, usually, you know, he's very similar to me. He's a huge gun enthusiast, and uh, he's getting into law enforcement. Don't want to say his name, you know, respect his privacy. But, um... Not a really good idea talking about guns in a mosque. <laughs> but, yeah, we did anyways, and uh, we basically vibe with each other. And uh, and we got to the peak of the event eventually. Uh, we got invited to the main hall. And, uh, you know, uh, since this was a college class, journalism class, you know, we were asking questions about the Muslim community. And, uh, you know, we gave a moment of silence for the, 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 the shooting that happened in New Zealand, which, uh, you know, obviously really sucked. You shouldn't, like the fuck you can't just you can't just fucking shoot muslims like that you know that's not cool um but anyways yeah we um they were asking controversial questions like for instance like saying how islam is possibly incompatible with modern feminism or the contradictions with homosexuality in islam and of course uh, other questions and uh you know trying to learn about the muslim community and how the muslim community has been attacked lately or some shit but uh, I mean, I don't really notice it. I, I don't. I don't know what they're talking about. Um, well, I'm sure it does happen because I did see this documentary and these people were harassing Muslims and shit. But uh, you know, it goes both ways, and there's a lot of propaganda out there. So I don't know who the fuck to believe anymore. But uh, basically, on the subject of homosexuals, they basically just said um, uh, it's a sin, and as as long as you don't act on it. And the thing about homosexuals. Like, a dude on a dude, they see dick as pussy. And if I like pussy as much as they like dick, that's going to be impossible. You know what I'm saying? You know, the hormones are going to kick in. I'm going to want to suck some dick if I'm gay. You know what I'm saying? Just like I want pussy right now. So, you know, that, that's impossible. So, um, yeah, like I said, they still don't like homosexuals. <laughs> oh, and then there was this one part where, like, basically the top... Uh, people in charge of, of the mosque there were asked what's their experience with hate and there was this one girl that was uh apparently she said she was uh driving with her kid in the back in the, in the car and uh apparently some dude rolled down his window and called her a raghead and she was completely destroyed by that like she was like oh my god this is so horrible this was horrid i just started crying and breaking down and i'm like thinking what about us, the reenactment community? We get told to kill ourselves every day. We get called fucking Nazis. We get called assholes, pieces of shit. And we think nothing of it. But this girl was completely destroyed. Simply by being called a raghead. I've been called Beaner. And you know what happened? I punched the guy in the nose. A week later, we became friends. Problem solved. But this girl chose to have that word destroy her and i shit you not she said this her words not mine she said you might as well rape me how do you go from getting called raghead to you might as well rape me what the fuck is wrong with you if you were stripped naked and beaten i guess that will fucking somehow be understand you were just called raghead fucking chill you dumb broad this ain't even about being muslim anymore it's just like what you, you, you just like okay this guy that called you a raghead he's he's throwing that hate on you because deep down he hates himself all right so like you need to fucking chill but anyways i thought that part was just completely fucking ridiculous but anyways so we go back to the room where we were eating and uh, they're giving out coffee there and I'm like, oh, that's lovely. And uh, I decided to chill there further with some homies, you know, look at the place around. And that's when I start getting uh, footage and they're preparing us for the tour, actually. And dude, I shit you not, my fucking professor, my college professor, don't get me wrong, she's uh, super cool. She's a real sweetheart. But she came up to me and she was like, you know, they're not all bad, you see? See, these, these are good people. And I'm like no fucking shit <laughs> you know <laughs> they're not like the ones in Afghanistan boys shit up <laughs> like chill <laughs> they're not radicalized I can fucking tell that I'm not some sort of generalizer that just assumes every raghead has a fucking six pack of dynamite under their fucking 
a job or some shit. And uh, yeah, I, I just thought that was fucking funny. She just went straight to me and just like, see, they're not all bad. Because, <laughs> you know, I'm openly right wing in, in that class. So I'm like, you would fucking approach me with that shit. And don't get me wrong. I thought it was funny, you know. And plus, I, I, I have a lot of respect for her. But she's kind of left leaning. <laughs> but I, I, that situation was fucking funny. And basically, uh, that's when the tour starts. And that's when I start recording. And uh, as you can see, here's some footage and everything. Uh, I don't know what I'm looking at. Because I'm recording right now. But uh, basically, you know, that's uh, that's the mosque. You know, it looks very lovely. As you can see, they got the fucking gas prices there. No, nah, I'm just kidding. Those are fucking scriptures. <laughs> but um, we got the tour and everything. And I was holding up the camera high. And uh, unfortunately, that caused me to get stared at. And, uh, you know, I don't want them to think I'm fucking scouting, getting to know the area. You know, to plan something. <laughs> I'm just, too early for that joke. FBI, if you're listening, that was just a fucking joke. Chill, dog. <laughs> But, uh, yeah, we got the tour from there. And it turns out the women are kept separate from the men. The men pray in front of the main altar. And the women go upstairs. Which is, uh... I, I, I mean, come on. Separation? Are you really, are you serious? Don't get me wrong. The women's section is, like, way cooler. Because it's, like, the second floor. And they got a fucking balcony. So I'm like... That's, like, way cooler. Obviously, if I were a Muslim, I would want to pray up there. Not only do you get some sick-ass views... But you're also like upstairs, you know. It's kind of like a treehouse thing. Uh, elevation is kind of cool. I don't know. Even though I'm scared of heights. But anyways, we're going off topic. And uh, uh, basically, you know, it, it just got to the point where like, you know, I was kind of getting stared at. Because I was holding up the camera high. But I was like, dog, I got to get some of this fucking footage. And knowing my my following base, like, I got to get some of this fucking footage. <laughs> and, uh, no, it was actually very nice. The guy, the people there were very nice, but, of course, their lack of tolerance towards homosexuals and, uh, I would assume feminism, you know, some of them are going to be pretty, pretty extreme. You know, it's usually the elders, but as, as time goes on, you know, the youngsters are going to, you know, adopt to the new era in shit, you know, the era of y'all need to chill equal rights my dude and i'm not talking like about about the f fucking extremist feminism talking about 208 years or some shit i don't know if you've seen that fucking video but it's just fucking stupid and ridiculous i don't know modern feminism is a fucking joke <laughs> if we could agree with muslims then th that's it modern feminism is a fucking joke <laughs> um but yeah anyways um i went back home uh i went with my homie you know he dropped me off to college uh, and, uh, from there, I just went back home. I don't know if I missed anything, but, uh, you know, speaking of that, our next episode is gonna be about <laughs> gay strip clubs right after talking about fucking <laughs> mosques and shit and Muslims. <laughs> but, uh, actually, these episodes are a little bit mixed because, uh, I don't know if my episode of, uh, of, uh, gay strip clubs and blue balls is out yet, but, um, because there's a bit of a mix and I want to get your guys opinion on it like a lot of you have been asking for uh, vlogs of uh, you know a day in the life of super poopy and a lot of y'all just want me to stick to the military stuff so I'm going to be doing a poll on Instagram soon and I'm going to see what uh, you guys would prefer but anyways I hope you like this episode 3 of shenanigans uh, don't forget to like and subscribe follow me on snapchat instagram everything dog uh, it's been your host super poopy I love y'all. Take care. Like and subscribe. Mucho love.